everyone is Jinu from Jinu Castle and today I'm going to teach you how to make chicken cheese balls and this is super easy and super delicious guys. and the cheese inside it's, it's so cheesy guys <laughs> guys I love cheese and I love to put cheese in everything and guys this recipe is perfect for party snacks and this is a request video from one of my subscribers and if you have any request which you want me to cook please comment down below and guys if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it guys because it's absolutely free and please turn on the post notification on because whenever I will post my videos you will be notified for it so let's get started guys <laughs> We are making some different and like interesting delicious so we will be making today some starters so for that we are making today chicken cheese ball for that we will take 250 gram of chicken boneless chicken strips which we will mince this into pieces or like or you can paste this also in a blind uh, in a blender the so first we will take 250 gram of chicken boneless chicken strips in this we will add more half inch of ginger then six to seven large garlic cloves then two spring onion we don't need the leaves just we need the stem in the bottom of the spring onion and just a little bit of lime juice to taste not too much and salt to taste this we will add one egg yolk not the egg white so we are separating this and just add the egg yolk in the mixture now we will blend this and up teaspoon of uh, Italian seasoning I have already pasted this you can see that it's already minced up for the dry mixture for that we will take 2 tablespoon of corn flour 3 tablespoon of all purpose flour or any flour you want and salt to taste not too much then one fourth of chili powder or you can add chili flakes also in the dry mixture it will give a texture to the batter so this is the dry ingredient mix this up very well and here we have two white bread um, crumb bread crumb and for the wet batter we will crack two eggs and just mix and just beat them up for the wet batter we will crack another whole egg with the egg white And just a little bit of salt, not too much, and mix it with this. हम लोग हल्के हाथ में ऑयल रब कर लेंगे हाथ में ऑयल और एडिंग ऑयल और उसके बाद हम लोग थोड़ा सा लाइक स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ चिकन मिक्सचर ले लेंगे हाथ में उसके बाद रोल आउट कर लेंगे 
अच्छे से कर अच्छे करके देन उसके बाद उसके बाद हम लोग अंदर होल बनाएंगे ऐसे मिक्सचर के अंदर और उसके बाद अंदर एक चीज़ क्यूब डालेंगे और अच्छे से फोल्ड करना है इसको अगर अच्छे से फोल्ड नहीं करेंगे तो चीज़ लिक कर सक कर सकती है तो ध्यान रखेंगे कि ये अगर कहीं भी पतला हो जाए मिक्सचर तो वहाँ पर एक थोड़ा सा मिक्सर डाल देना वहाँ पर फिलअप कर देना तो ध्यान रखेंगे तो अच्छे से आपको फिलिंग मोजरेला चीज़ डालने के बाद भी आपको रोल आउट करना है अच्छे से मेक श्योर जो जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट कोई गैप्स नहीं रहेंगे वहाँ पर गैप्स नहीं है वहाँ पर एंड उसके बाद ड्राइंग इंजन भी डाल देंगे आप ऐसे करके हल्के हाथ से आपको जस्ट ऐसा घुमाना है बॉल्स को ड्राई इंग्रीडियंट्स में इसके बाद हम लोग एक वॉश में डाल देंगे बॉल्स को देन वी विल डिप दिस इन द ब्रेड क्रम मिक्सचर Here, guys, you can see that we have we are heating up the oil for the deep frying part, and you can take any oil or like oil you want, like vegetable oil or canola oil or any oil or olive oil also for deep frying. How how to check the temperature is perfect for deep frying? To put a wooden stick or any of the, like any kind of stick in the oil, and when it start bubbling, then you will think that the oil is perfect for deep frying. Just rotate the balls. Make sure that get the nicely coated breadcrumb mixture. One by one, add the balls. Make sure that while while you fry this, make sure that the oil is at the perfect temperature. Make sure it will burn very quickly. cheese balls are here and after this i have served this with mayonnaise and ketchup and if you want you can spread a little bit of spring onion over it looks good the main thing is to check check this how it's done inside go oh guys you can see the cheese inside स्ट्रेची सो गुड टेस्ट दिस 
so good guys it's super yummy it's super gooey it's super cheesy